Hello and welcome. Let's model a pipe with a projected curve and on shape. So how um, that command works, um, you can use two sketches and project them into one curve. So I prepared this drawing. Let's have a look at that. Here's the top view of that. Starts with a plate, a triangular plate with an inscribed circle of 88. Um, Rady 14, three holes, 12 millimeters. And then we get that uh, sweep path. I included the sketches or the 2D sketches into this drawing. So that is a radius of four, uh, 64, another one 64, a distance from the origin 88 and a vertical dimension of 188. And here we get the left side view. We can see the height from the origin 128. Starts with a straight line of 40. The base plate has a thickness of 14 millimeters. There's a radius of 88. And there's a broken out section here where we see the thickness of our pipe, four millimeters, and there is the overall dimension. The diameter is 62. So I will start with a sketch in an empty part studio. That will be a sketch on the top plane, and normal view to that, the height all planes. And then I'll take that um, polygon tool here and make that a three-sided one with that inscribed circle of 88 millimeter diameter. Make one side horizontally constrained. And then I will just fill it the whole thing in the sketch environment and the fillet is 14 millimeters and I will dimension our profile or our sweep path so um, I will dimension that it was 54. And my plan is to make a surface sweep with this dimension and then thicken that with uh, four millimeters, which would make it then 62, right? Okay, I exit that. I press Shift E to go into the extrude. Take all that and give that that thickness of 14 millimeters. Okay. I'll go the other direction. Keep that sketch visible and go into the hole command and pick those sketch points here, make that a 12 millimeter through wall, and we get that. Now, let's start with the next sketch, and that'll be the right plane here. And I will start with the line command here, make that a tangent arc here, pressing the left mouse button, it will appear somewhere, continue with that line. Apply some dimensions, first that arc at 88, then that 
end point, catch any point on the um, bottom face and make that 40. And the overall length here from the origin is 188. Okay, I press T for the tangency here. And H for the horizontal constraint. Okay, the sketch is fully constrained. I exit that. And now let's start the next sketch on the top plane. Here. Could have picked that face as well. And take that three point arc. Take that origin here. Close it here. Go to the tangent arc to continue. And into the line command. Okay, press T to make that tangent here. And then um, the tangency, we can apply that between sketches. So take that here and I'll take that line. So we get that. Then um, equal constraint between those two arcs and the dimension of those are 64. Um, a horizontal constraint between that endpoint and that one. Here, let's have a look like that. And then dimension that here with uh, 88. And our sketch is fully constrained. So now we get these two independent 2D sketches and um, with a projected curve, it's like an extrude. You would extrude this sketch here and then this one and the, the intersection of those two. That is the projected curve. So you find that here. That is the option we want, two sketches. And we can pick those sketches right here. First one, second, that one. And we get a, you see our curve here? Okay, and the two sketches are consumed in that curve here. Okay, so now let's uh, use that curve for our sweep, a surface sweep. Take that edge and take that curve. There it is. So we get this one part here, the solid part, and that surface here. Now let's thicken that. You can pick the surface from here. Make that a four millimeter. Thickness and adding to our plate here. Okay, we can hide that curve. And there was one Little lid there here. Take the bullet command, take that edge, and there it is. We can hide that sketch. And there we have our curved pipe. Let me know if you like this um, drawing base type of content. I hope you, you like the, the video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.